don't say a word. Rigmore, you're here at last. Words are not enough to describe how beautiful and radiant you look. Guardian J thank you for escorting my fiancé here safely. You have my sincere gratitude. Rigmore, if you please. mystery behind my errant son's disappearance is revealed. Countess Rigmore of Bruma, Robert has told us all about you, my lady. Good things, I hope, Leowen. Why? Are there some bad things? <laughs> if there were, Count, one would expect only the most dignified behavior of a knight and gentleman. <laughs> the Countess has you over a barrel there already, Bobby. Hang on tight, boy. It's going to be a rough ride. No offense, Rigmore. As you can see, these balls, as they call them, aren't really the sort of balls I understand them to be. Father, mind your manners. Ladies are present. I'm sorry, Count. I don't understand. Exactly which balls do you have in mind? Oh, well... Mm. Who's over the barrel now, Leowen? Oh, uh, well... Can uh, tell us, Countess? Uh, uh, what finally brings you out of the world? <laughs> yes, Countess. We have so much to catch up on. How's Guardian, you might I have a word in private? It concerns Rigmore. It is some freaky looking guy. Okay, spit it out. It was something that was said over dinner last night. We've all been here for a few days and heard Rigmore had arrived yesterday. Unfortunately, she didn't attend last night and the Counts were becoming agitated. They just want her to sign the decree so they can all go home. Some of the Counts do not recognize Rigmore as nobility. They say she is a commoner. I, of course, defended her honor robustly. When Count Coral suggested Bruma wasn't doing enough to stop bandits sneaking through the Jarrell Mountains to raid the northern counties, my father countered the complaint that as soon as Bruma signs the decree, it will be signing away its status protected under international law as a free city. Once Ariel Sethius gets Rigmore's signature on the decree, it will legitimize his claim to the Mede dynasty and everything therein. Once he proclaims himself Titus Mede III, he will own Bruma. It will no longer be a free city. And my father told them the Emperor has plans for Bruma, and they should no longer be concerned. What sort of plans? That, I'm afraid, I don't know. And why are you telling me all this? Because, Guardian, I love Rigmore with all my heart. And if anything were to befall her, I would never forgive myself. She has changed my life completely, and I intend to marry her. So I have a plan to protect her honor until that time comes, decree or no decree. Yeah, and what is it? As you know, my father is the Count of Leowen. He commands the largest force but is loyal only to Cepheus, as am I. If the Emperor does indeed have any plans for Bruma that could affect the House of Rigmore, if I were to publicly propose, and, and she were to accept my hand in marriage, we could rule the county together as Count and Countess of Bruma. Any plans the Emperor had, he would seriously have to reconsider, or come to naught. Well, so you have nothing to gain from this. 
Is Rigmore not worth it? Guardian, you know her as well as I. Our engagement has been a long time coming. Look at these stuck-up so-called nobles fawning over her as we speak, with sweet-sounding words. Don't think for one moment I am ignorant to the fact that they feel the same way about Father and I. In their eyes, we too are also commoners, bandits, scum from the highlands. Rigmore and I were meant to be together. It's our destiny, our fate. And no noble, or even emperor, is going to get between us. Okay then, what do you have in mind? When you have a private moment, tell Rigmore of my plans. That my love is true. Because when she signs that document, her life may be in danger. And I intend to be the knight in shining armor that saves the day and our future together. It would be for the best interests of all present that she accept. I don't want to surprise or embarrass her, or take any chances. Okay. Thank you, Guardian. You won't regret this. I never forget who my friends are. Yeah. Everything would work out really well for him. Ah, Bobby, come and join us. So, when are you going to pop the question to this beautiful damsel? Guardian, we are dining. Note how she blushes. Um. Okay. Please excuse me for one moment. All in good time, Lady Coral. I had an interesting conversation with that Bobby guy. Dragonborn, what? He informed me that once you sign the decree, Bremen will no longer be a free city. Yes, it's the decision we made. We all agreed on it. The Emperor will rule supreme. He fears once you do, the Emperor has plans for Bremen. What plans? He doesn't know. He doesn't know. I just want to sign the damn thing and go home. Nothing more. Um... He has a plan. Go on. He's gonna ask for your hand in marriage. Oh, the gods, the idiot. What is he thinking? He says he loves you. Tell me you're kidding, right? Um... I'm not kidding. Well, yeah. I don't know. Yes. Yes, I do. If you accept any plans Cethius might have for Bruma, or if he knows about your secret or over. Of course. Cepheus wouldn't dare touch me if I was engaged to Bobby. He doesn't want to risk you saying no. Oh, bless his heart. Of course I will accept. Tell him it's a yes, Dragonborn. This is our way out. My way out. This nightmare ends right now. Ah, this isn't gonna be good. So tell us, Lady Rigmore, why has Bruma had such a change of heart? Considering the circumstances, surely Bruma is better off remaining a free city. Bruma has decided to sign the Noble Decree and join the six counties of Cyrodiil, making a seventh. 
therefore returning to the fold, exemplifying the county of Bruma's loyalty to the Empire so as to legitimize the title of our beloved Emperor, Titus Mead III. To which, Lord Chancellor, I had hoped to make haste as to signing the document. Bruma wishes only the best for our county, and the continuity of the Empire, and of course, the coronation of our Emperor. Unfortunately, the Emperor is unavailable to join us at present and wishes me to convey his sincere apologies. Please help yourselves to the refreshments provided, then return to your guest rooms here at the palace until the reschedule has been confirmed. This should take place tomorrow. The Emperor thanks you all for your patience, continued support, and understanding. If my Lady Rigmore would be so kind as to follow me, as so only to be acquainted with her designated quarters. Yeah. Okay, Rigmore. You're not moving. Okay, there you are. My lady, as I have conveyed to our other noble guests, the Emperor wishes you all to remain here at the palace until the signing of the decree and the subsequent coronation have taken place. Then you will be free to return to Bruma as you see fit. An agenda room for your companion is provided in suite, as stated in the agreement. I do apologize for any inconvenience caused, and hope your stay here will be a pleasant one, as best it can be. I would also like to take the opportunity to thank you for finally attending, and would like you to convey my respects to Lady Sigun upon your return. Please, feel free to return to our guests. Thank you, Lord Chancellor. You have been so kind. Be assured, your respects will be conveyed as you wish. Now I remember why I like living at the Roxy Inn so much. <laughs> I know, right? It can't be much fun for Blackwell having an icicle permanently stuck up his ass. Um... Priathoth. Although some of it I picked up from Malsam's constant bitching and whining. <laughs> Are we going back to the party? Are you kidding? I'm going to rest here for a while. All that back there has drained me. Ugh. Okay. Good night, Dragonborn. Um. Oh, that might be too long. That's about right.
Okay. Mm. Dragonborn, wake up. It's time to go. Usually take this long to wake up. Right. Recognize this sword. Time to sign the decree. They're waiting for us in the Imperial Chamber. Uh huh. How are you feeling? To be honest, I feel relieved, but a little nervous, I guess. Uh... Have anything strange experiences since last night? Uh-uh. Dragonborn, what's wrong? I... I think there's something here. Dragonborn. Forget it. Okay. Okay, let's go. I'm sure he will. Then we can all go home. What will you do? I'll go home to Skyrim. As commander of the garrison, you can stay at Castle Bruma with us. I would like that. Let's get this over with. After you, Dragonborn.